All right, in this video, I will be doing a better job at surge protecting my mining rig. You can see I picked up a new Gigabyte 3070 on the used market for $1,150 Canadian, which is a little high, but it's not crazy. And then I got two surge protectors. The Gigabyte card is a Rev1, so it is not the hash rate limited card. And you can see what it looks like there. It pretty much looks like all the other Gigabyte cards for the gaming OC versions. Not, uh, not a lot of bells and whistles on it, but it is actually a very large card. Definitely a lot wider and longer than the Zotac card that I have. And I got these two EVGA uh, 3070s as well, and it's much bigger than those. Not so much in length, but definitely in width. So you can see that I do have a protected power bar here. Uh, however, we did have a lightning strike that may have killed one of my 1660 supers. One of the, the initial steps I did was just also make sure that my internet connection is properly grounded. So you can see on the surge protector I got, it also has connections for the coax cable. So I'll be running my internet through that as well. Previously, the mining rigs were connected via CAT6 cable with no surge protection on the modem. So that may have been a point of failure uh, during the lightning storm. So I did have to get a little bit of extra coax cable. I just picked up this RCA quad shielded cable. You can see I zap strapped the power bar to my shelving unit. I already put the coax cable coming from the street for the internet into the power bar. And now I'm just running the other end up and into my modem. So ideally that will completely surge protect the modem. And ideally, it'll eliminate the modem as a, a potential source of a surge to the computer. And I'll plug the uh, modem in as well. With the surge protector secured to the shelving unit and the power to the modem plugged in, all I need to do is plug in the two PSUs as well as the one power cable that goes to the monitor. One thing to look at when you're getting surge protectors is how much protection they actually provide. This APC one that is doing the internet as well actually provides surge protection up to 3000 joules uh, of energy. The general electric surge protector I had was only rated to 800 joules before. So this is more than three times as much surge protection as I had previously on here. And with everything plugged in, I'll just flick the power button on the surge protector and everything fires up and this is also the first time i'm testing this gigabyte card and it fires up no problem that one 1660 is not even hooked up right now so that's why the fans aren't spinning i will probably take the electrical plug-in off the ceiling at a later date and get it on the wall and you can see that all five 3070s are registered including the new gigabyte and i can confirm that they all uh, work well they mine at 60 mega hash per second and draw about 120 to 130 watts. Now the other surge protector I got is also branded APC and it is good for 1,080 joules. Again, this GE one was only rated to uh, 800 joules. So I'm gonna remove this power bar, which is not even surge protected in any way. And I'm just gonna pretty much throw that out of there and I'll use this uh, 1081 because I do have two 3060s in this computer mining away. So I do want to protect this one more than my home computer. I'll use the 800 watt surge protector on the home computer. Now the internet for this is also connected via CAT6 to the modem. So that means that this rig will be protected through both the surge protector power bar that it's connected to as well as through the internet. So I'll just turn the power on, hit the power button on the tower, and you can see that they're both working. Anyway, I can't recommend enough getting the proper surge protection for your mining equipment or just your regular computer and getting a $50 surge protector that can protect your computer through both the power and supplied internet is a fairly low cost way to keep everything safe. Anyway, Thanks for watching my video. Don't forget to like and subscribe.